can currently be seen with Paul Newman and Susan Sarandon in the new movie Twilight. We also know him from his roles in Victor, Victoria, Maverick, and the hit series The Rockford Files. Take a look. Now look, Hotshot, I've been having a terrible day. I got two loose teeth that have been killing me, and I got this sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach that I'm the only guy in the game that doesn't know what Trump is. I have been followed by criminals and threatened by cops, and now I come up on you. You got all the answers, and you stand there like some big leafy elm. Well, that's fine. You want to play it that way? That's okay with me. But I'm not signing that complaint until I get clued in. Please welcome two-time Emmy Award winner, James Garner. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm old. <laughs> How old are you, sir? Oh, you had to ask. Go I'll be, on. I'll be 70 years old in two weeks. How about that? You look wonderful. Thank you. When's your birthday? April 7th. March 21st. Oh, well. Aries? Aries. Yes. There you go. The best. Hard-headed. We are. Yeah, Hard -headed. The, the leaders. That's right. Yeah. It's nice to see you. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. You're the one. No, come on now. You know that's not true. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Rockford Files, for me, yeah. loved it so yeah, much. I heard you, your yeah, dad's my dad Rockford. loved it so much. He loved the, the stuff with you and your dad, you yeah. know, that yeah. relationship. How long did you do that show? Six years. Six years. Well, six years, and then the last, uh, what, three or four years, I've done uh, the two-hour movies. Right. <coughs> so I've done about eight of those. And you just did another one? Well, no, I, I, I did one you know, last year is the last one. It, it hasn't gone on the air, but that'll be the last one, I think. It will? No more. Any reason? Does he... <laughs> well... Is Rockford out of here after that <laughs> one, or...? Who wants a 70-year-old detective? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we would enjoy that. I could take a few more of those. I know the show is very physically taxing on you, wasn't it? You always were getting beat up and... Yeah, it's a very difficult show physically to do because, uh, as you say, I, I get beat up. Oh, two or three times per show. Right. And, you know, they say, they say you have uh, stuntmen, but, uh, you know, they do those long shots. The rest of them I have to do. <laughs> yeah. Come home a few bru bruises, I bet. Uh, a few. Quite yeah. a few. Your new movie is wonderful. Twilight with uh, Gene Hackman, Paul Newman, yeah. Susan yeah. Sarandon. Thank you. Thank you. That was, that was fun. I, uh, they said, oh, there's a movie with uh, Hackman and, and Newman and Sarandon and Stockard Channing. And there's a part in there they'd like you to do. And I, oh, great, great. Uh, you know, I wanted to work with all these people. I worked with Paul only in the picture, and I never got to meet Gene Hackman, who's one of my favorite actors. Oh. Uh, I did get to meet Susan. Uh, we did one long shot together, and I never met Stalker. <laughs> never met him at all? No. How about at the premiere? Did you go to the premiere and meet No, I didn't go to the premiere. You didn't? No, I don't like those things. You don't? No. You don't like getting dressed up, or the whole hoopla is not Well, I don't like getting dressed up, yeah. I don't like tuxes. And I don't like huge crowds. You don't? No. No. I just like home. Just stay at home. Where <laughs> yeah. do you live? Uh, in Brentwood. Brentwood? Yeah. O.J. Simpsonville. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the neighborhood got a little messy about that time. Yeah, I'll bet. Oh, we have a clip of you in, in your film, Twilight. Do you know oh, which, which scene we have? No. Uh, this would be oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. yes, they told me. It's in the police station. Yes, you yeah. and, uh, Paul and Paul Newman. And he's just been brought in... Uh, possibly accused of a murder. Right. Okay, take a look. James Garner in Twilight. You know, they all loved him, even after he dumped them. I mean, the man had the gift. Their husbands took a dimmer view, if I remember. Well, they would, especially Catherine. Billy Sullivan, yeah, hurt poor Billy's feelings so bad. He swam out to sea and never swam back. Of course, he also lost a bundle of money gambling about the same time. You lose a woman like Catherine and a whole lot of money in the same week, you can begin to feel sorry for yourself. Mm, I can see how you might. Never having had either. I used to think that Jack Ames about the luckiest man I'd ever run across. Looks like he's run out of luck, though. Twilight is now playing in theaters across the country. Did you know Paul Newman before the movie? I, I knew Paul before the movie. Uh, of course, we've been involved in racing, both of us, for many, many years. Oh, are you a car racer as well? Uh, I did for years. and uh, Well, not too many years, but, uh, yeah, I did a film years ago called Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. 
and I got very interested in racing. And so for about six, seven, eight years, I, I raced. Did you ever race with him or against him? No, I never raced with uh, Well, yes, I did race with him once. Uh, they had a race with, with a thing called the Le Mans Start, where the driver runs across the track, gets in his car, and takes off. And Paul was driving, and uh, he had a sore knee or something, and he couldn't run, so I ran for him, and then he got in the car. <laughs> you ran to the car? I ran to the car. He drove it. Did he win? <laughs> You know, I can't remember. Can't remember. You know, we but have. He did a, well. He was a good driver. We have some vintage um, photos of you as a <laughs> as a swimsuit model, sir. Now I didn't know that you were a swimsuit model. Look at this hunk of hunk of hunk of Bernard. Uh, Whoa! Look at this guy. And what about this guy over here? How about that sexy little speedo? Look at that. <laughs> now, how old were you when you were doing this? I was 17 or 18 at the time. And you were in high school and somebody yeah. said, hey, you want to come? I was at Hollywood High School and uh, I don't know who cast these things. It was for Janssen bathing suits. And uh, they called over to the school, got the, uh, the phys ed director and said, uh, we need some models. So they gave them 10 guys and they picked me to do it. And so I went out and started my modeling career. Yeah. Was that the end of your modeling career? Because you're pretty hot in those pictures. Pretty, pretty close to ending it. It was. Yeah. When I was doing the Kane Mutiny, uh, the play here in New York, I did a little modeling then. Yeah. But that was the last of it. <laughs> now, I understand there is somebody special in the audience today. Yes, there is. Uh, over 40 years ago, uh, the president of my fan club, Pat Persico. Pat Persico, come on down, Pat. Come on down. Quickly, quickly, Pat. Yeah, we'll give her these. I bet she doesn't have those. She probably does. She probably she does. does. Come on down, Pat. How are you? Nice. For 40 years, you've been the president. Huh? Turn around, let Turn everyone around, see so it. Turn see around. It. Pat, do you have these pictures? No. You do not have you don't them? Know. Would you like them? Yes. 40 years, you deserve them. Thank Pat you. Rizzica, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Okay. Lovely to meet you, sir. Nice we'll go to commercial from right okay. here. We'll be right back after this break. James Garner and Twilight.